You see, this is good advice. If you want to be a creative instead of an entrepreneur, if you want to be an entrepreneur, following the schedule, getting it done, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it, that will get you more progress in your goals. If you want to be a creative, if you want to produce something unique, if you want to produce something that you're super proud of for the sake of making this one particular video and you don't even care about the views or the money, 100%, no schedules, no deadlines, wishy-washy, just go, you know, go dance in the flowers till the idea comes, 100%. If you are here because you want to turn YouTube into a business, the schedule, the deadline, Parkinson's law, that will serve you more. For example, if you want to get jacked, you go to the gym, on the schedule, you eat the macros, whether or not you, you want to. That will get you the most jacked. But if you want to feel your body, if you want to free yourself physically and get to this next level of unlocking your body through yoga and functional exercises, you'd do it more like a creative. You wouldn't need to, to have this pure regiment of just, you know, three times eight leg press. You'd change it and think, okay, what, what part of my quad feels locked up right now? For most guys, they can't even, they, they can't even feel different muscle like uh, strands in their quads, for example. But you get to a certain point in yoga where you can literally say like, oh man, my, my the right side of my lower back feels kind of locked up today because I, I sat down for an hour yesterday. Now, so if you, if you want to do that, which is fantastic, by the way, that's still an awesome pursuit. Fine. You're not going to make as much muscle as the bodybuilder who goes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, and he eats 200 grams of protein every single day because he's got the goal. So I'd ask you, Elias, but also for everyone else, do you want to be a creative or do you want to be an entrepreneur? Yeah, that's still fantastic. That's still a nice schedule. It's still using discipline. You're still putting in lots of work. If anything, that might even be better. Like you said, if you're reading an entire book, like my personally, my best videos are when I've read an entire book for the script and it's taken me about 10 hours to prepare for the video. That's still entrepreneurship. So it's just, I think because you use the word creative in the way you defined it as like, you know, taking some time to think, to, to produce this, this video, which is more like a piece of art, that's usually the, the wrong way to go about the YouTube business. You see these guys who produce these like lovely looking videos, the editing super sweet and everything. And then they make one video every two months and they, yeah, sure. They get 200 K views, but the guy who's just churning out fucking top five ways to increase testosterone. And the thing is your creativity comes in that, right? Because you're thinking of new ideas because you're presenting yourself in your unique way. So it's not like you're just ultimately throwing away your creativity. It's just, you need to figure out which direction you want to go in. Now you've said entrepreneur, have the schedule going every day. Doesn't suit you. You like to go to the gym. So you know this, do you really like, is it super clear if the guy who goes six times a week will make more muscle than the guy who goes three times a week? Maybe not. There's lots of other variables, the same with YouTube. So one daily uploads works extremely well for guys who are just lazy and procrastinating. We know that you're not, you've already got a track record. You've already been posting and you want to put more effort in to make each individual video better. Fantastic. Go two, three times a week, set the, the deadline, write it down, which days at which time and use Parkinson's law to guide you into doing that.